What's up guys, this is your boy Jarvenus, and we're back at it today with some Destiny 2. Now since the completion of the last Wish raid by Team Redeem, we've had some really interesting activities pop up. We've had the new Corruption Strike, which I covered in an earlier video, but we now have the Heroic Blind Well as well. So we're going to cover off how we do that in this video now. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a rating below, that really helps me out on the channel. And if you are new around here, feel free to hit that sub button. But without further ado, let's crack on. So by completing the blind well on Heroic you get a triumph which shows up in your book here as defeating one of the plagues of the well, so the Scorn Champion. And then alongside that as well you get some rewards. One of them is obtainable currently which is the Secret Victories emblem but you also now unlock a variant, the Drink at the Well, for completing one of them. And there's another variant for completing all three time trials which will unlock assumingly on a week by week rotation with a different boss being there each week. Now I want to give a massive shout out to Houndish and his squad for teaming up with me in patrol to get this one done. So there's about six of us here in this particular fire team and we range from anywhere from 535 all the way up to mid 550s. So you're going to need to be at least 535 and upwards to get this done comfortably without too much trouble. Now before you do anything, make sure you consume your tincture of Queen's Fall. There's nothing worse than doing the encounter and not having that um, popped and in your inventory. So make sure you do that first and then you're pretty much set to go. So you, you pop in a tier three, normal blind well, you can get these from Petra by using the dark fragments and then you come to the blind well and you enter the activity. So you complete the waves as you do normally, get into these final bosses. Now, there's nothing special that we need to do with these bosses. You just take them out in the normal way. So if you've not done blind well before, uh, what I mean by normal way is there are these enemies called chieftains. Here's one here just in front of me. So as you can see, he's glowing. Uh, and when I kill him, he drops a orb on the floor, which gives me this buff that you can see on the left hand side called harmony. And that harmony buff is what we're able to use in order to remove the shield from the bosses. Uh, the way that we remove the shields in, in Heroic is different and we'll cover that off shortly. So the way we were doing it in our runs is we had a Radiant Well from the new Warlock subclass and this allowed us to bunch together in order to optimize DPS. So we used that on the tier 3 to burn down the bosses uh, and as you can see here we're getting ready for the Heroic. Now to kick off the Heroic once you've completed the tier 3 you have a limited time in order to put the unstable charge in the blind well and you can get these from Petra as well again using the dark fragments so once you put the unstable charge into the machine it will pop up like this as an heroic public event and once you've successfully done this it will spawn in Sicaris who's plague of the well for this particular week and as you can see there's a lot of screeb around and that's with good reason this is how we actually remove the shield. So unlike tier three, where we use harmony as a buff, uh, Screeb will spawn in and around his feet and it's in detonating those explosions is what gradually helps remove his shields over time. Um, whilst doing this though, you do need to avoid obviously the tethers and those flamethrowers from the scorn because they will get you. But as you can see here, we are all bunched up in that Radiant Well, which gives us protection, but also helps boost our damage. And from this point forward, it's very much rinse and repeat. You let the Screeb spawn, you detonate them at his feet, and that will gradually remove the shield. And once the shield is down, everyone can obviously pop their supers in order to do as much DPS as possible. So you do that for both bosses. So you have a limited time in order to do this. So communicating together and cycling supers are really key in optimizing your DPS. So as I said earlier, there are six of us in here and we managed to get two instances and we range between 535 and 555 in power. So it is a difficult activity, uh, but it will mean you'll be able to complete that other version of the purification quest which will give us the transcendent blessing as a mod which we can utilize on any armor piece we wish but ultimately will become super effective when we want to reattempt the last wish raid and that's pretty much it guys i mean pop in the bounty as you'll see at the end grants you a powerful reward so i got another version of the dreaming city rocket launcher but it will help me boost my power so it's definitely worth doing and definitely worth getting a team together but again massive shout out to houndish and the boys they were super helpful and super supportive so i can't credit them enough i hope you found this video useful as i said earlier if you do find it useful please leave a rating below that super helps me out on the channel the growth on the channel for the last week and a half has been actually insane i think i've grown in 
four or five times. So I massively appreciate all the support and all the kind comments. But if there's any particular video that you'd like me to work on, please let me know and I'll do my best to cover that off for you. But if you are new around here and you wanna keep up to date with all the latest Destiny content, then feel free to hit that sub button and ring that bell for any future videos. But I'm gonna let this one play out so you can see how it all ran out. But I'm gonna jump back into the game, guys. You have a great one and I'll catch you again soon. Peace out.